this is a real good article. Now this kind of tells you what kind of a socialist state that we are uh, heading for. It's the Freedom Outpost. It's called Break the Cycle in 2019. Just say no to the government's cruelty, brutality, and abuse. This is by John Whitehead. I'm going to zoom in on this because I want to get this guy's uh, January uh, 1st, 2019. I'll put the link in the bottom. You guys can go read this yourself. But, uh, you know, we really need to break this cycle. You know, uh, been heaped on us for a long, long time. But it says here, it says, uh, let's make 2019 the year we stop living in a state of utter denial and desensitized to the government's act of violence, accustomed to report the government corruption and uh, anesthetized to the sights and sounds of corporate America marching in lockstep with the police state. They shot unarmed citizens and their household pets. Government agents, including local police, were armed to the teeth and encouraged to act like soldiers on a battlefield. Bloated government agencies were allowed to fleece taxpayers. Government technicians spied on our emails and phone calls. And government contractors made a big killing by waging endless wars abroad. And the president's got more power. Police became my power unto themselves, lacking in transparency and accountability, protected by courts, legislators, and riff with con misconduct. America's police forces were a growing menace to the citizens and the rule of law. Shootings of unarmed citizens, police misconduct, and the use of excessive force continue to claim lives and make headlines. One investigative report found the police shot Americans more than twice as often as previously known, a number that is unreported and un undercounted. It doesn't account for the alarming number of individuals who died from police using tasers. 911 calls, no good. Traffic st uh, stops took a for for worse. They became uh, they were able to pull you over for any reason, and force into search cavities, force colonoscopies, force blood draws, force breath alcohol tests, force DNA extractions, force eye scans, forced inclusion in biometric databases. Yeah, this free-handed approach to traffic stop has resulted in drivers being stopped from windows that were too heavily tinted and so on and so forth. Yeah, it can get downright deadly. And this thing, it says uh, it can be downright deadly at a time when police can do no wrong, at least in the eyes of the courts, the police unions, and the politicians dependent on their votes. And a fear for the police off officer's safety is used to justify all manners of police misconduct. And here's another thing, the courts, especially the Supreme Court. A review of critical court rulings over the past decade or so uh, revealed a starting steady trend towards pro-police state rulings by institution concerned more with establishing, with establishing order and protecting the ruling class and government agents than with upholding the rights enshrined in the Constitution. And the surveillance state, that really got worse. Guys, I'm going to put a link down here for this. i got to sneeze, I think. Um, there's a whole lot to this. <coughs> Bless me. Even in churches, these kids, and it got, uh, it got worse. It got worse. Then uh, the rich got richer, the poor got poor, went to jail. Uh, they expanded the, the searches to uh, strip search, seize, raid, steal from and arrest Americans for any infraction, no matter how significant. The Trump administration gave courts the green light to resume their practice of dealing with individuals who are unable to pay the hefty fines imposed by American police states. Okay? In America's uh, war, they just keep going on and on. We've spent more than $20 trillion, at least in the globe, when we should be doing this stuff at home. And you, you, nowadays, it, it's, we're becoming a socialist country, just like Russia. You know, the KGB are everywhere. Show your papers. 
We're not supposed to be living in a show me your paper society. Despite this, the U.S. government has introduced measures allowing police and other law enforcement officials to stop individuals and demand they identify themselves and subject them to pat downs, warrantless searches, and interrogations. Now, the, the, the one thing that really pisses me off is when the Supreme Court gave uh, police agencies, government agencies, whatever, these no knock warrants. You know? Oh, we've got to get the drugs out of... If you wanted to stop the drugs, you should have stopped them at the border. So they go bang on somebody's door and bust it in and uh, poor homeowner hears something. He grabs his, his uh, firearm to go to defend the house and they shoot him because he's got a gun in his hand. Go to hell. They waged war on American military veterans. Free speech was dealt a knockout punch after another, one after another. Protest laws, free speech zones, bubble zones, trespass zones, anti-bullying legislation, zero tolerance, hate crime laws, and most other legalistic modalities dreamed up by politicians and prosecutors who champion and want and champion those, but who want to suppress suppress speech in which they might disagree or have conspired to con corrode our core freedoms, purportedly for our own good. On paper, at least according to the U.S. Constitution, we are technically free to speak. In reality, we are only free to speak as a government official or corporate entity such as Facebook, Google, or YouTube may allow. It's censorship. Police even became more militarized. They acquired more weaponry, training, equipment. Uh, even, even purely civilian government agency arming their employees to help with guns, ammunition, military-style equipment, authorizing them to make arrests, train them in military tactics. They're now reportedly more bureaucratic, non-military government civilians armed with high-tech deadly weapons than the U.S. Marines. For instance, the IRS has 4,487 guns and 5,062,006 rounds. They waged a war on private property. They, raised, they waged a war on kids. These school safe policies, crap people, it's crap. They just want more funding. Deep State took over. Anyway, guys, I'll put a link to this, and you can go watch it. And thank, thank you very much for watching. This is a very important thing. Uh, you know, we need to s start putting our country back the way it was intended to be, not the way the bureaucrats are taking us. We don't want to become another Canada. We don't want to become another Russia. Let's get our country back. Thanks for watching.